Pakistan power. I welcome you and your delegation in our country in this challenging time. I think, I guess you know the overall situation because we had opportunity to discuss the situation with the U.S. representatives. Uh, two days ago I had phone conversation with Secretary Blinken and I know that our colleagues in connection and uh, I think it's very important to have this opportunity to discuss all nuances of our current situation in our region. You know, unfortunately, now the ethnic cleansing of Armenians of Nagorno-Karabakh is uh, underway, so that's happening just now. And that is a very unfortunate fact because we were trying to urge international community on that this uh, ethnic leasing is going to happen. But unfortunately, we haven't been able to, to prevent this. But uh, the situation and tension in our region is continuing to grow. And uh, now uh, it's very important to uh, take concrete measures to prevent future escalations and even bigger problems. So I'm very glad for this opportunity and welcome you in our country. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you for the, the warm welcome from me and my team. I know how busy you are as well, especially given the circumstances. Uh, President Biden sent me and our delegation here um, in the wake of, of course, your calls uh, with senior U.S. principals um, to underscore the United States' deep commitment to Armenia's sovereignty, territorial integrity, and democracy. Um, I know as the head of USAID, our work with the Armenian people and the Armenian government has never been as intense and as important uh, as it is now. Um, I may have come to, to Armenia, and I hope to come again to discuss the kinds of things that we are doing to help strengthen uh, your uh, democracy, your, your deepening democracy. Um, but on this trip, of course, we are focused on the immediate crisis, the humanitarian needs of people in Nagorno-Karabakh, the humanitarian needs of those who um, have uh, fled Nagorno-Karabakh. Uh, I gather around 5,000 people have come across uh, today, and we take very seriously, of course, our responsibility to mobilize resources ourselves to support the local authorities and the local communities who have opened up their hearts and their homes, uh, but also um, to get other countries uh, to do the same. So the United States will continue to work uh, both with your government uh, and with the government of Azerbaijan to bring about the lasting peace uh, between your two countries, knowing also what profound economic dividends stability would bring uh, to the Armenian people. Um, and uh, again, the steps that you have taken in your leadership role uh, to strengthen checks and balances, uh, to expand economic growth, to fight corruption. Uh, all of those uh, are an investment in Armenia's future.